this era where there's so much social media, be it Twitter, or Facebook, or, or whatever, instant communication, is it harder to coach now where players have almost instant access, you know, if they have a bad game or bad play, it's, it's out there. Is, that, is it more of a challenge now to, to coach to, to deal with that social media element? Yeah, I mean, it's everywhere. But the biggest thing is you have to educate the players and have to understand, uh, you know, stay within the team, stay within the family. And really, the, the things that matter most are, are what the guys are saying or what you ever seen with any guys that are coaching, uh, what your players are saying about you, same thing as the coaches. Um, you know, every single day, someone, someone's going to say something negative or positive about you. Um, you know, in either which way, um, you know, sometimes when you get all the positive feedback, your head gets a little bigger. So maybe you don't have to touch practices and um, so either which way whether whether you're fighting off all the positive or, you know reactions to where we're getting a little bit too high your head's getting a little bit too big or the negative ones where you're getting down. You just gotta stay within even kill, stay within what you believe in, what your system is and stay within your family and, and really what matters most is what your teammates and your coaches think and say about you. Is it kind of a, when you're dealing with the two quarterback situation? I mean, that's what Coach, you know, Wilson was talking about when he mentioned, you know, that part of it of guys sort of looking on Twitter and seeing, you know, this guy says you should play, this guy says says you should play. Is is that kind of one of the long term things you sort of have to fight when you're dealing with two quarterbacks that they're going to start comparing themselves to each other and thinking about, you know, who says they should play and who says that should play? Is that something that you constantly kind of have to fight against in a situation like that? Has it gotten a little bit harder just as the season's gone on to sort of guess right between Nate and Trey? Who's going to, you know, who's going to have a good day? Who's going to fit best against that defense? Has it gotten, you know, it seems like obviously the last two weeks you, you know, changed quarterbacks. It seemed like the second guy that came in had a better day. Has it been tougher to tell who's going to be on that day? It's not really tough to tell. I mean, obviously you hope they're, they're both on. Mm-hmm. Again, uh, there, there, there can be a lot of second guess and a lot of looking back. You know, I'm, I'm really not one of those guys that does a lot of that. When I'm in the flow of the game, I'm not really thinking about um, a sense to where, what if we did this to play before? What are we, you know, I'm always trying to go forward. What are we going to do next that helps us give us the best chance to win? Uh, and so it, you can always look back and second guess the decisions. But at the, at, the end of, at the end of the day, I trust both those guys. I've said it all along. I trust both those guys. Um, both those guys do, do very well things. They're both great teammates. They both compete hard. They just got to stay within themselves, compete against themselves, and making sure that they're, uh, they're their best on game day. How has the balance been working between Steven Houston and, and Tevin with just splitting carries and kind of